Hello and welcome to part 8 and the conclusion of this series where we are creating almost chess application uh, in C sharp. Now everything uh, is already set up, we have all the classes and all the functionality and now we can go to our chessboard. In one of our previous videos we had to uh, comment some code out because we didn't have the move and pawn classes finished. So I'm gonna uncomment the while loop because we are going to be looping until the user enters invalid character, which uh, is an indication that the user wants to exit the program. And I don't think there was anything else, so uh, we can try to run it. So I run it, and it still uh, blinks. It's still not correct, so uh, let's take care of that. So uh, the problem, uh, let me run it again. Okay, so it keeps refreshing and displaying, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't change the uh, the exit in our move at all. It doesn't verify it, um, and that's because oh, I see. We have our get input, which uh, gets the input and it validates it, and it changes the exit accordingly and our validation returns a uh, error and if it's uh, true or false it's assigned to our exit so um, in our make move method we have to come and do the if statement if it's not exit if we do not want to exit then we will run the rearrange pawns if we do want to exit but we don't want to refresh it anymore so uh, that will call our methods there, but we we have our make move method that calls all the you know the get input and the rearrange pawns, but nothing calls the make move. So if I run it now, it still blinks. I have to go to my uh, chessboard, and at the end, whilst it after it displays the chessboard, uh, I need to call the method. I need to do the move dot make move. So uh, if I run it now, here it is. This is our screen and our target X. And so let's do zero and zero and let's move it to three and three. And you can see that it moved correctly. Now let's move, uh, let's move five and five, which is space. 5 and 5 is space and let's move it to uh, 6 and 1 so now you can see that 6 and 1 is space and you can see that the uh, screen refreshes after each uh, entry so uh, let's do our 3 and 3 and put, put it back in uh, 6 and 1 and you have now the X there and let's do a wrong coordinates let's do the first one correct let's say 0 but now I'll enter 8. And it's an invalid input exiting program now. And I'll press enter and the program exits. So there you are. there's your program. I think this is functioning correctly. Let's do the uh, 0 and 7 and place it into 7 and 7. So now 0 and 7 should be space and 7 and 7 should still be x. And it is. That's correct. But if I enter... Uh, now 0 and 7 and place it into 7 and 7 now they both will be space and it, it's correct so that's correct and if I do uh, 2 and 2 and place it into 0 0 0 0 now should be space that's correct and let's do another invalid coordinates let's do 0 and 1 that is correct and 6 that is correct but uh, let's do let's say 8 and it says invalid input exit program now. All right, so this is the program. This is the whole solution to it. Uh, it uh, definitely was a little intense with the loops and arrays, especially two dimensional arrays. But once you kind of uh, realized what you are outputting and where you are on the, on the board, you can uh, manipulate the indexes uh, accordingly. You can kind of realize 
you know what index of what array you are working it uh, so um, so this is the solution if you liked it please leave a like share with your friends leave a comment and I will see you in some other project that we'll be coding take care